So today we're going to be talking about the controller on the ProTeam iX and I'm going to take you through the different functionalities. So um, this is connected to a demo unit but we can see the inlet is 19.3, the outlet is 20 degrees. The time's incorrect at the moment and we've got a lock button that we can just about see there. At the moment the display isn't illuminated so the first thing we need to do to turn the display on is to press one of the buttons so that it illuminates. Then what we're going to do is press and hold the power button, this one, for five seconds which removes the padlock. Now we're able to interact to it. So the first thing if we were just wanting to get cracking on it we could just press the power button which immediately turns the unit on and brings us up with the symbols to tell us what's happening. And at that point, we can press and hold the mode button here by pressing and holding for three seconds and it will change the mode. So we can go to powerful and heat. We can then move over to cooling. We can move over to auto and we can come back to eco mode. So that's how we cycle through it. And we can press the power button again, put it into standby. Now we're gonna sort the timer out. So when we're setting the clock, the first thing we're gonna do is do a short press on the timer button. The hour is flashing. We can then change the hour to the correct time. So for example, let's call that three o'clock. Press the uh, time button once again and we can then set the minutes. Press the time button again, and now we have the clock set to the clock that we want. If we want to set the timer, what we do is press and hold the timer button for three seconds, and then we get the timer on flashing, and we set it in the same way. So we can say we want it to turn on at seven o'clock in the morning, or 7.15 if we want, whichever. And we press the timer to skip through it. Then we get the off, and this is the first timer. So we can now set this to, say, 10.30 or 11.30. So that's the first schedule that we're gonna have, for example. And now we've got the timer two. If we wanted not timer two to be set, we would just go through it without setting it and leaving it at zero, zero and zero, zero the same. If we want to set it, then we do it in the same way. So now I'm just gonna go through and leave them all the same. And we can do the same with the third timer and we're done. So now we can see that the timer is set, it's on. It's currently off because it's outside of the schedule and there is only one timer set. If I'd have gone through the others, we'd have seen one, two and three if we had those set um, and it would tell you which one the timer cycle is within. Mm -hmm. uh, last of all to cancel the timer we simply just press and hold the clock for three seconds and the timer disappears and that's all timers cancelled. Um, then we have the functionality for connecting the Wi-Fi but we have that in a different video but effectively we press the power button and the up and down button together for five seconds, I think it is, and then we'll see the pairing option coming on. Okay, now the last thing that we need is the ability to set the temperature. So in order to do that, we need to have the unit in the on position with whichever mode we've got selected. And then we can press the up and down arrow, which will change the set point. And when we're happy, just press the power button to save it and to prove that that's saved we can press the up arrow again and it's come up straight away at the set point.